if you look up dung beetles on Wikipedia, you'll find that there are three ways these guys like to deal with dung. Some of them are rollers and they roll up the dung in a big ball and carry it around with them wherever they go. Others are tunnelers and, and they bury the dung, they dig a deep tunnel and they hide it away until a later point. And then finally there are dwellers and these guys they just live in the dung. The dung becomes their home and they don't go anywhere else. And all of this rather than being a slightly interesting fact, it actually reminds me of how we deal with problems. Sometimes we carry our problems around on our back. We roll them into a ball and we take them with us wherever we go. And they affect everything. They tire us out, they wear us down. And maybe it's an extra responsibility that you're worried you can't cope with. Maybe it's something longer term like grief. But whatever it is, you carry it around and it tires you out. Other times we might bury the problems, ignore a few text messages, pretend that on the surface everything is fine. But underneath it all, the same problems still exist, and they might only be getting worse when left unattended. And sometimes it feels like we're living in our problems. They surround us, they're all we can see, they're all we can think about. And maybe that's sadness, or guilt, or fear. But you can't see through it, you can't see past it. And all of this is tiring and life feels like one giant problem solving exercise. Like when you've solved one problem, the next one's just there to greet you. And our dung beetle style coping strategies, they get shown to be useless in the end. They fail because if you roll up your problems and carry them around, you get worn out. And if you tunnel them away, they come back to bite. And if you dwell in them, then it all gets too much and you can't cope. And you feel like giving up. But Jesus says, come to me, all you who are weary, and I will give you rest for your souls. And that's the problem with these burdens. They don't tire you out physically or even emotionally, maybe. But they wear you out at the core of your being. And Jesus says, I will give you rest for your souls. And in the end, that's the only coping strategy that's going to work.